welcome all of you to this video. In the previous video, we studied the area of the segment of the circle. Today, in this video, we will see interesting example based on this concept. In a circular garden, plant flower beds leave a hexagonal part of a circle. If the diameter of the garden is 40 meters, find the area of that part of the garden in which the flower beds are planted. Come, let's try to solve this. As you can see from the figure that there are six flower beds in the garden. According to this figure, there are six segments in the circle. Since it is given that the diameter of the garden is 40 meters, therefore, the radius of the garden will be 20 meters. So, we can say that the angle subtended at the center by each sector will be 60 degrees, which is represented as follows. Let's now talk about triangle AOB. Here, we can see that OA is equal to OB. So, the angle OAB and angle OBA will be equal. But can you tell what will be the value of angle OAB or OBA? Absolutely correct. Since we know that the sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, therefore, the value of angle OAB or OBA will be 60 degrees. So, we can say that triangle AOB is an equilateral triangle with all sides equal. Since we have to find the area of the segment, therefore, from the area of sector OAPB, the area of equilateral triangle OAB will be subtracted. In the formula of area of the sector, when values of theta and radius are placed and solved, the value of sector OAPB is found to be 209.52 square meters. While the area of the equilateral triangle, putting the value of the sides as 20 gives, the value of triangle AOB as 173.2 square meters. On solving which, the area of the segment APB is 36.32 square meters. That is, the area of each flower bed is 36.32 square meters. Therefore, we can say that the area of the total flower beds is 217.92 square meters. In this video today, we saw an interesting example based on the area of the segment. In the next video, we will understand another interesting example in depth.